special welcome one and all to the Sunday school class here at St. Matthew's Baptist Church in College Station on Holloman Drive. And it seemed like the, the duties for this morning are steadily increasing. And I need more time. But time has been taken away. But we have a very interesting story this morning, and it's interesting enough that Daniel particularly pointed this out for us. Faith in times of trouble. Yeah. And uh, something we should take to heart because some, the applications are tremendous when we look at our daily lives and what happens when we go through transitions in management yeah, yeah, and rulership. Yeah. How you handle that situation. Everybody doesn't rule the same way. You've been there 20, 30, 40 years, but everybody does not come in with the same guidelines and the same rules how they want to operate. Yeah. Yeah. But you supposedly had, as Daniel had, a good reputation. Yeah. Yeah, but there was no guarantee that he'd be put in the same spot again. Mm. So we're going to turn you back over to the choir, and then we will proceed to uh, get into this morning's lesson, but before we do, I'm going to like to make a slight announcement. Say, Matthew's Baptist Church will have dinner on the church grounds on February 25th. This event is to promote fellowship within the church family and Black History Month. There's a sign-up sheet in the back of the sanctuary on the table. Please see Camille Bat if you have any questions. The last day to sign up is February 18th, which is the day. We ask that you wear your African attire. This will be the day to fellowship with each other, so please stay and eat. Thank you, the planning committee. Amen. I'll give you back over to the choir. Thank you. Good morning. How blessed are we? He did it again. He woke us up. I'm going to ask you all to join us on this very familiar hymn, Precious Lord. It's on page 305 of your hymn.
safe for you this morning we wouldn't guarantee that the Lord you have chosen to give us strength in our weakness Father we may be able to stand forth at this time cause us to have sufficient memory to never forget your goodness and how far we've come with you Lord but we're still Lord don't quite know how to walk so we ask you Father to continue to teach us your ways that we may learn how to walk closer to thee Father that all we think, say, and do in this life be done in such a manner to give you praise going on. We now, Lord, ask you to visit this place now. Guide and lead me as we stand before with your people, Lord, to render to you the service of the servant. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Background. We have a change in management rulership. Mm-hmm. Nebuchadnezzar was the king or the authority. We were just one of him, but as soon as Babylon was taken over by the Medes and Persians, yeah, yeah. they had not only the kingdom that the Persians had, but they had Babylon. So he had an exorbitant amount of stuff to rule over. All right. And so scripture says he realized that, and so he set forth to have princes and presidents over all of this kingdom. And you know, it's funny how the Lord works sometimes because... Daniel is not a young man anymore. All right. That's right. But he has had a reputation under Nebuchadnezzar for all the work that he did. And somehow the word, the word got out. I don't know if Darius really was that quick with it about it. But yeah. he suddenly recognized something. Or he heard about this man, Daniel. Now, I don't know if I were you, but if I were the Medes and Persians, I wouldn't be too happy. they put somebody like Daniel in there when you we've taken over and you take a foreigner and put him in position when we've just taken over Babylon and put him in a position of authority over me. And I say that because it happens to us in life. And what happens to you when somebody else comes in and you thought perhaps you'd be in position to get a file and somebody else is chosen. The strange thing about it was this was an old man. I don't know about you, but you look at perhaps me and Pastor Cooper and Mm -hmm. some others that are up there. I don't know if you credit us with having the kind of mental faculties and intellect that the youngsters have today. But I tell you, it should teach you that God is able to give you the mindset to do what he called you to do. Don't matter the age. Don't matter the age. But we find in this morning lesson that because of Daniel's selection, envy comes up. And when envy comes up, people say for you to move to your side. They're looking for something to kick you to the curb, to find a flaw, something in you that will no longer qualify you for the position that you've been given. But that's one thing about a Christian. Daniel basically said by his example, you've got to live a life that proved them a liar. Right. Right. All right. And that takes something. It's not something that you can do on your own, folks. Right. Come on. You have to have somebody. The word says you have to be in Christ. And so if you're not in Christ, don't try to fight them battles. Right. And what we see this morning, all that happened to Daniel, not one time despite his friendship and fellowship with the king, Not one time did he run to the king and say, save me. Not one time did he ask anybody to send a word to the king. I don't know about you, but sometimes when we get in a problem, we don't reach for him. We call on the next door neighbor. We call on our best friend. We call on somebody that's just got a listening ear from this ought to be an example to you here because he's saying, look, I know who has brought me thus far. I'm the 80 years old. I don't walk with him too long to change now. And I tell my daughter all the time, well, you in the old ways, I say, I'll tell you something, the old ways are the best ways. You don't want to ever forget the old ways. And I know we have a lot of transition in life where people want to tell you how to do this and do that. They're all smarter than we are. I said, if you just take note of some of the things I've learned, I tell my daughter, I want to share them with you because they stood the test of time. Yeah. And I've wiggled and waddled all around, but I find now that I'm steady now than I ever been before. <laughs> because I've learned to depend and on him more so than I ever had before. Yeah, yeah. Right. So here we have this morning. Envy has developed. Yeah. Yeah. And 
And all these men, he had 120 and three presidents, these prime ministers, over all the kingdom. And Daniel was chosen to be the chief over all the 120. Yeah. Now, when you think about a massive kingdom and 120 people scattered out to manage, yeah. well, there's, a, there's a chance that somebody yeah. is not going to be operating in the king's best interest, and money was involved, and you know how that is. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's going to be tempted to take a little something for themselves and not yeah. give it all back to the king. But that was Daniel's charge. See, Daniel has a charge to keep the peace yeah. and take care of the levy to revenue, but he also has a charge to God. Yeah. He knew not to lean into his own understanding. Right. 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 He, he walked right. like that, so you couldn't deter him from thinking like that. Yeah. You know, when God shows you what he can do in your life, yeah. how many times did he have to prove that he's able yes, to do yeah. To deliver you from any and all situations. Wow. And sometimes when our life is on the line, as in this case, mm. what do we do? Do we resort to calling on him? Mm. Come on. Or do we resort to calling on somebody else complaining about, what have I done to deserve this? Wow. But you see, Daniel had oh, yeah. an answer. Yes, sir. See, after they got this decree against Daniel, it wasn't enough to disgrace him in the position that he had. They wanted to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. They wanted to have his life. Yeah. So you understand when Satan's at work, he's, he's all about taking you out. He, he doesn't want you as competition for him. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And if you understand where the power resides in your life, you don't look forward to somebody else to say, look, could you pray for me? And yeah, that's fine, but you got to look to him who made you and the one who created you and the one who gave you life and kill can take life. But he can save life. Yeah. And so we find that these men claimed that they had a big meeting to decide that something was wrong. We needed to do something about this situation. We need to have this law. But one thing they didn't do, they didn't include Daniel. Right. And so the king, and you know, you got to be careful about flattery. I, I got a little long-standing thing with a, a friend of mine called John Henry Walker, and, 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 and he has it habit when he when he wants something, he says, "Mr. Carter, sir," I say, "What's up, brother?" Because that's not the usual entree to me. And, and so it was it with Daniel. So listen to that. We got to be keen with that. And the people deal with you because they'll come bringing gifts. Beware of men bringing gifts. Physical, spiritual, or otherwise, beware. So they said, King, live forever. You're the greatest. And he just ate it up. See, that's the mistake we make. Somebody has made you think you're all that. And you fail for it. And as a result, he makes the decision to sign the decree. Now, he didn't sign the decree saying the Jews can't pray. He wanted a generic law because he didn't want Daniel to be mentioned or his Jewish people to be mentioned there because he'd have been clued in then. Yeah. But it's strangely enough, yeah. the petition was for 30 days. So the word says, save the, except the king. That means yeah. nobody in the king yeah. could offer up a petition. That means pray anything in the king. Nobody but the king nobody. for 30 days. I don't know about you, but... Yeah. Can you go without talking to the Lord for 30 days? I don't know about you, but I, I remember a time, but today it's different now. Today is very different as I see it because when you have less dependence upon him, when you're a little bit independent, you begin to think that you're something too, that you don't really need him for the generic, the ordinary things in life. I just need him when I get down sick in the hospital or when I lose my job or when my paycheck is cut. He said, no, no, no. Daniel said, no, you shouldn't do that. Stick to your routine. Even when your boss decides to tell you you got to work on Sunday, the test is coming. Are you going to change your routine? You may can't come to fellowship on Sundays, but that doesn't mean you can't keep your routine. See, that's what he's showing us. You need to be steady in what you do because the Lord is looking for you to honor him all the time, not some of the time, right. 
If you honor him, then he'll honor you with presence in your life. There will be power beyond power that nobody can explain, but it shows up. And it manifests himself in a way that people can't understand. How did you do that? Well, I wasn't so great. I wasn't so smart. I, 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 it didn't matter whether I had a degree or not. It didn't matter that I was had a job title. It didn't matter where I lived. It didn't matter. But because that I honored him yeah. and I trusted him, yeah. whether or not he takes my life or gives it to me, yeah. it's all right yeah. because I've come this far. You see, you, you can't take something that's not in your hands to take. All right. When you are the Lord, you belong to him. And you belong sufficient to him that nobody can harm you or take you without his authorization. So you need to believe in that. So we have the envy coming up. And so after they had gotten, after they had gotten a decree signed and all of this, they wanted to expedite pretty quick. So they had to get up to where Daniel was. He was. But guess what? Trouble was on the way, but the prayer wheel was already rolling. Yeah. Yeah. So when they got there, where did they find him? They found him kneeled down. See, yeah, yeah. he wasn't bothered by that. Yeah. His window was open, and so he's looking to Jerusalem, yeah. and he still followed his same routine. Yeah. Yeah. And he did it morning, yeah. noon, yeah. and night. Yeah. And so that's something you, you, you think about. It. You, we think about three times, three times, three times, and three times, we like to at least eat three times a day. Yeah. Least three times a day. But somehow or the other, we'll pray in the morning, we'll pray at night, but we'll skip the noonday. But you see, David in Psalm 55 did the same thing because he felt like the Lord would hear his voice yeah. if he continued to pray, and he prayed three times. So that's a lesson for us, is that we ought to draw close to him all the time. Pray without ceasing. All the time. Give him the glory all the time. And you won't be disappointed. All right. yeah. You won't be dismayed because he honors those who honor him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So we understand that after they had done this, they went back and told the king what they had done. So they quickly want to kick him in the, fly, in the, in the, in the lion's den. Yeah. When you're in a lion's den, you know, there's a, a dark place. Yeah. 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 And they sealed it with a, a stone, rolled a stone over it, and then they sealed it with the king's sacred ring. Yeah. But if you can imagine a dark place, mm-hmm. very little light, if any, if none. Yeah. But yeah. if you've got the light, the true light, yeah. it will shine through. All right. mm-hmm. You just got to be wait on it. Yeah. Daniel wasn't upset because he knew his relationship with the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Done. You see, we got to always be, kept, be careful enough to remember from where we've come and what he's done for us to get us to the place where we got, instead of one suit of clothes, we got five, ten, or fifteen suit of clothes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. More than one pair of shoes. It's a long way to come. We got living in brick houses today where many of us didn't have brick houses. We got cars today beyond cars. And we got bank accounts where there was not a bank account. We had charge accounts at the local stores to get food. Think about what we have come. And we are responsible for passing on that to the next generation, which I'm afraid we fail miserably at that. But here we are. He is in a dark place. And something happens. But we know this. That light conquers darkness. Mm -hmm. So no matter where you are. He wasn't at home. He was in a foreign land. Under pagan leadership. Ruled by somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yet we find that his prayer got What I'm saying is, it's not about the location. It's about the relationship. 
if you got the relationship, you will be tuned to working on it every day to keep in store, keep that tight. So that when you call on him, he'll know, oh yeah, I, I know you, Daniel. Yeah, yeah. I, I know you. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. I'll be there for you. Yeah. Yeah. All you got to do is wait on me. Yeah. Now, because yeah. it's, not, it's not according to our times when you're there. Right. Yeah. So we have to be careful by thinking that we have done something that qualified yeah. us. Yeah. Qualified yeah. us to get what we got. As if to say, I'm all that. I, I've, I've been living a good life. I've done all I could for you. I've done it the right way. Yeah, but still, it's not enough. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't reach the bar, the level yeah. that it needs to reach because we are called to be righteous. Yeah. We are called to be perfect. Why? Because heaven is a place for perfection. Heaven is a place for holy people. So our holiness not now has not been attained to the level that Christ wants us to be there to get to heaven. All right. That's the work of the salvation journey. We have yeah, to get yeah. perfect yeah. on that way to be perfect for a perfect place. Yeah. So Daniel isn't perfect. Mm. Neither are we. Oh, but it requires us to understand that, that in and of ourselves we can do nothing by ourselves. Yeah. We need him to do it all for us. Yeah. Anytime we think we are all knowing and we have learned to do one thing one way and we can transfer it to using it and apply it in another way, yeah. it doesn't work like that. So we find that finds that that was a that was a, a woman that I admired so much because she was a spirit filled person to me and I was. Word. Amen. When she spoke, mm -hmm. I was awed by what she said right. mm -hmm. and how she said it yeah. because it couldn't come from nobody else but him. Yeah. Right. Now, I don't know about you, but you have to open your spiritual eyes and to see that. Yeah. Yeah. And her name was Sister Moore. I can recall the conversations and the talks and expressions she made yeah. in this church. Yeah. Outstanding. Yeah. Now you would think that she had a PhD, yeah. DDD, or whatever it is. Yeah. She had a degree, all right. Yeah. A degree in JC, yeah. Jesus Christ. All right, yeah. And you see, all right, yeah. that's all the degree you need. Don't yeah. get caught up. Yeah. Because I tell you something. If you got the degree in JC, right. change. Mm -hmm. I need a little help in one way or another with rent or something else. Yeah. Who do you really call on? There was an old show called, movie called Ghostbusters. Who yeah. you going to call on? <laughs> Who you going to call on to, to get you through the situation? And you got to be careful because we will lean yeah. in the wrong way because we would rather call on that. Hey, do you have... Yeah. Can you help me with this? Yeah. I don't know about you, but he hears what you say and he sees what you yes, do. Yes. So Daniel was consistent. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he was custom yes. in prayer. And that, that's a good example for us to follow. Don't, don't get caught up with the work yet. Yes. So he's going to still work on you. Yes. You're still in training. I got, I got a rev here that I said, tell him all the time. I said, you still in class yet, be careful. He knows who I'm talking about. I said, don't try to give nobody else nothing because you're not, you're not ready yet. You haven't graduated. But information and insight. We think we're smart. But he says, you just need to be consistent. And you need to be constant in what you do. Don't vary from it. Now, they were knocking on his door, and yeah. he was on his knees praying. Yeah. Now, I don't know about you. If I got an enemy, on. I'm questioning whether I'm going to turn my back on him, even on my Amen. knees. Yes, sir. On my knees. Amen. He was praying, and they could see it because he was go looking at yeah. through the window. So he evidently had his back yeah. to them when they came up. Yeah. That's a dangerous situation, isn't it? Yeah. Unless you got somebody. In your pocket, yeah. in your heart, he got you. Yeah. 
so you don't get caught up in, in worrying about whether or not you're going or staying. Yeah. Especially when you're 80, you come a long way. Uh, so it don't make no difference. Yeah. Paul said yeah, yeah, yeah. the die is what? Yeah. The gain and the live is Christ. Yeah. Yeah. So Daniel had that attitude. Yeah. It don't make no difference. I'm 80 years old. I'm, yeah, yeah. Look, I've come farther than I thought I would come, and you yeah. think that I'm going to be concerned about somebody taking my life now? He doesn't have the authority. He can only have the authority as, 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 as Christ said. You don't have the authority unless my father gives you the authority. Right. And you've got to understand that unless it comes from above, he has no authority. Do you believe it? This is a wonderful book, but beyond that, the book itself, mm -hmm. I find so much, if you just take a little time and read it. It has so much in it come with that daily life that happens today in the governments, in lands, all over the place. And they are being repeated in our time. And we don't know seemingly how to respond to it. Mm -hmm. But Daniel is saying, look, the answer is with him. Yeah. Yeah. You can't get caught up. And the other thing that from this lesson I want to point out is that you don't do, e you don't do evil for evil. Right. You do good. Right. So he was blinded initially. He finally conceded the fact he had made a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. And in that, he couldn't sleep, couldn't eat, because he had made a mistake. And this was, he was concerned because Daniel kept the kingdom in order. He was very meticulous, and he watched everything. And they and, and Dad Darius could count on him for that. And so here we find that these men, these persecutors of him, wanted to take him away. Yeah. Why? Because, you know, it's funny how People associate with money. Yeah. Okay, I'm almost there. <laughs> when you associate somebody's handling money, there's yeah, always yeah, a yeah. temptation mm -hmm. for somebody to want to take something and put it in their own pocket. All right, man. That's right. Can you imagine now? This is an awesome responsibility. I can imagine he did it from Babylon, from the palace. Yeah. So in order to do that, you, you got to go out. Yeah. Yeah. You got to see what's going on in all these places. And then you have to check the books to see what's going on. Can you imagine the report he gave when he had to go back and tell Darius that this particular prince had absconded with some of his money? I don't know if you like a person like that. You ever heard of all this one tattletale on you, what you're doing? They might have called him a tattletale because he's only going to tell what's right and what's true. And he was the only one doing that. And you, in my day, we, we might not have liked that either. That's right. mm. <laughs> so it's okay to, be, to do what's right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. You can be on a job and somebody can have a, a way of getting through and stuff done. So that's not how we do it. Yeah. Why? Everybody does it like this. Well, that doesn't make it right. So yeah. you understand, under all the pressures that you would get as a Christian on a job, you have to be oh, careful Lord. because you have to stand for something, yeah. otherwise you stand for nothing. Yeah. So Daniel stood up, and he would always stand up. He wasn't concerned. Don't get me wrong. He wasn't in no numbers that make numbers count so far as the people are concerned. He was just one yeah. Yeah. among all the administrators that they had, one. one. And yet he's not my way. Yeah. Bitterness has a way of seeping in, and if you sow bitterness, you become bitter. Yeah. And you can't be used effectively yeah. in the Lord's service. So be careful about getting mad at somebody because they have mistreated you or reproached you for one reason or another. Right. Be very careful about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Because you are called in the service of the Lord and you can't serve him with a bitter attitude. Right. Right. But then in closing him, I'll make this one note, is that when the king says throughout the kingdom, you're going to honor God and trust him and all this, but one thing he didn't say, he didn't say you had you would love him. Right. And the thing that happened, they didn't get rid of idolatry. Mm -hmm. 
See, be one thing is say, from now on, we're going to honor, we're going to worship this God, his God only. He didn't do that. And it wasn't just throughout all the world. It was just in the nations that he controlled. So, have a loving relationship with God and maintain it. And to maintain it, you have to talk to him pretty regularly. And it's not enough. Just think two days a day yeah. as you ride in your car, in your classroom, on your job. Tell you what, Satan is busy all the time. Yeah. He's looking for a chink, a crack, and in the armor that he can get in. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we come before you thanking you, Master, for what you've allowed me to do, saying, yeah. express this morning, and may every Father God.